We are just a day away from the one-year mark of the East Palestine train derailment. In the months that followed, many local businesses weren't sure if they would survive the aftermath. For the past year, village businesses have worked hard to get back on their feet. First News Weekend anchor Kristen McFarland spoke with some of them about their journey and what's ahead. Southern Greenhouse owner Donald Elzer admired his healthy plants while he reflected on this past year. The train derailed a week before Valentine's Day, the store's biggest day of the year. People were worried about our vegetables. Um, a lot of people were concerned about our dirt and our water, but we have well water here that's been tested and that's safe. Greenhouse sales are currently down 20% from last year, but with each month, sales are steadily getting better. Spend a lot of time trying to fix the perception that it's dangerous to come here. Um, all the evidence we have, all the things we see say that it's okay. Business is back to normal here at Kay's Cut and Corral on Market Street. The owner says she has many customers coming in day in and day out to get their hair done. But it's not as talked about as it was. You know, my customers come in and life is back to life. Kay Biggenwald does a client's hair every half hour, five days a week, serving people all across the valley. For Kay, she wants to keep the past in the rearview mirror and look forward to the future. I don't think our town will ever be back to normal, normal. Um, as far as some people just won't let it go. They just won't. Doyle's Fresh Meats and Deli off of Taggart Street is still working to get sales back to normal. It's been a long year for the shop. We're actually trying to get the business to the point of shipping meat outside of the town. So we're not so dependent on, you know, the residents of East Palestine. All of our meat we bring in, it's not from East Palestine. So it's not like you have to worry about any of the contaminants. Other local business owners say it's been a slow year and they are not sure it will ever get better, but they are hopeful. In East Palestine, Kristen McFarland, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.